now that we have our app created, let's look at how to run it locally on our computer using a simulator that also shows us how it looks on Android and iOS. Go ahead and make sure your project is open. If you recall, when we first opened or created this project, it automatically popped up with what was called the live server. And the live server can be found down here on the live button, bottom left corner. If you go ahead and click that, it'll load up the live server and it will tell you that it's loading up the simulator. So basically it's just showing you what our app currently consists of, which is just a main page and the image. And we can see that inside of this page, we have a title, main page, and we have the image, which is the vPlay logo. And all the live server is doing is showing that to us. Now in the live server, you can change resolution and the resolution allows you to choose between iPhone 4, older devices, obviously, 6s, Xs, etc. And this gets updated with every release of vPlay if there are new devices that it needs to show you things for. So if we hit the Nexus 5, we get that iPhone 4S, that's what it'll look like. And you'll notice everything dynamically resizes itself. Then if you hit the theme tab, it'll show you what it looks like on iOS. So if I click iOS, this is what the default would look like and Android would look like that. And these things should look pretty familiar with you because what vPlay is doing is it's using the default platform look for each thing. So it's taking your code base, it's saying, hey, you want a navigation stack, you want a page, and you want a title on that page. And then what it does is it says, well, the title on an Android page goes in the nav bar along the top, the title on the iOS is the same, except it's centered in iOS. And these are all things you can change. This is just showing you the default behavior for all of it. And of course, the desktop client shows its own thing and what this would look like on your Windows desktop. It may look slightly different on Linux or Mac because it may pull down your different system fonts, etc., etc. Okay, so that is basically how you run things on the vPlay Live server locally in the little, we could call it an emulator. Now the beauty of this is because it's a live server, if we change something, let's say we change this to main page two, and then we go ahead and hit control S, the live server will restart and, and show us what that looks like in the live client. So we don't have to click compile, debug, show, and that is one hell of a time saver when it comes to these things. So that's the vPlay live client. Now in the next section, I'm going to show you how to run this code using the special vPlay live apps on your iPhone, your Android device, on as many devices as you like simultaneously. It will push these code changes and you'll see that happen in real time.